Welcome to the awakening. It's having a few problems with Zoom. Um, did a massive interview uh, today about um, five thingy. <laughs> and so, how am I going to take you from the dark into the light today? Okay, let's have a think about it. Okay, so basically, today. I want to talk about how sometimes it can be difficult um, to be a light worker, to be someone that's awake, to be someone that understands about the awakening, and how do we navigate it when maybe we don't have a huge amount of people that agree with us or feel the same way as we do, even though we know in our hearts that it's time that people woke up because if they don't then um, it's going to be detrimental for the planet and our lives but there's only so much you can do there's only so much you can do and i remember reading something in a course of miracles i'm going to check a course of miracles for today because i do find that a course of miracles gives me a lot of direction and it's the power of decision is my own so it means that you could choose, you could choose to be miserable and to get yourself into arguments with lots of people because they don't believe what you're saying or what you're putting out there. Or you can choose to live your truth. And when you live your truth, you know in your gut that something is not right. You know in your gut what what you know what's going on. And even if people don't want to believe you or can't believe you for whatever reason, or they can't, you know, go along with it, it doesn't mean that it's not true. To you, it's true, and that should be enough. Uh, as long as there's enough people out there that are supporting the same things as you are, um, then that's fine. You've got enough support to make a change. And that's how I think I work with this. <laughs> Hope you like my flowers, <laughs> my little um, hippie thing. Um, so I've got the book here, Simply Amazing, behind me, and I'm going to plug it a bit. You can get it from me, or you can get it from the Positivity Centre, and it's chapter eight is my story. As you can see, Lauren Hope, down here somewhere. Um, there you go. And in this book, I talk about how the fact that I carried a lot of the load on my own. I did carry a lot of the load on my own, particularly in the wheelchair when I had an accident. And that's why Casey put me in the book because he said, you, haven't, you didn't have a pity party. And so, as I say, coming back to Course in Miracles, because I diversified, which says, who told you that you have to heal the whole world? No one. You have to hear yourself and you have to live in your truth. And the minute that you do that, then the evidence will come to you, the truth will grow, and that's what I think is happening. Um, and you will attract the same kind of people that have the same truth as you. And then the consciousness will change and other people will follow. And I really think that that is the answer. You live your truth and then others will follow. You are the power of decision is my own. That means that I can either live in the dark and try and convince everyone and just create a discomfort and rouse because people may not want to know and that's up to them. But as long as you are living in your truth, at some point they may even ask you, they may like, um, Rebecca said today on the interview that a lot of people used to call her conspiracy theories, theories, theorist, and laugh and think that she was insane. She was saying the stuff that is coming out now all over the place. And, um, and, and now people are actually getting back to her um, 
I'm such a perfectionist that this little hair here that's sticking out needs to go. See? <laughs> the old perfectionism. Sorry, coming back. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This little piece of hair is sticking out. needs to go. There you go. It's going there. This is what we do. We want to live in a perfect world. We want to live in a place where everyone believes everything we say. And sometimes if we can't get this point across, there's a part in you that will create an argument and then that person that is really holding on to their truth and their fears and whatever will not work with you. And then you have a war. Okay, so what I'm saying here is live in your truth. Live in your light. The power of your decision is to do that if you want to. And respect the fact that other people may not have the same ideas as you. They may not agree with you. And that's okay. You cannot save everyone. And no one is telling you to go out and save the whole world. It was never said anywhere. It's a total misconception. Okay? Uh, Course in Miracles says that no one has told me or you to save everyone. First of all, I, I need to get well. I need to make sure that I'm well. I need to make sure that I live my truth and uh, I'm a morally good person doing good things apart from being silly and playing with my hair, which is an occupational therapist. Uh, therapy. I should edit this, but I'm not going to. Because I'm just trying to flee, free flow, flee pro. I'm tired. I just did a massive interview with Mark Steele and Rebecca about five, you know what, and the dangers, and so send it out to the public. But as I said, all you can do is be in your truth. The power of decision is your own. Do what you believe in, do it as best as you can. And other people will pick it up on it and may even put you in a book. And if you want to learn more about how I stay well without medication, how I stay sane in this crazy world, you can get the book from me on chapter eight. It's not just a book about me, by the way. There are incredible people in this book. You've got Werner Reich, who's a survivor of Auschwitz, okay? And he survived by doing puzzles and seeing the beauty and strength of the human spirit beyond the Holocaust. You've got Jenny Mayer, who was left paralyzed from the neck down after bipolar related suicide, suicide attempts. Now she generously uses her past experience to help others realize they're not alone. She goes out there to support others. You've got amazing people in this book and you've got me in chapter eight. <laughs> you can get the book from the Positivity Center in National Lang. Um, so I'm going to pull a card, how to stay sane in the crazy world. And uh, let's see what message we get for you guys. Also, I'm holding my Shungite here. Shungite is very good for Wi-Fi problems. And if you're like me and you're very sensitive, Shungite does help. Um, I'm going to take you from the dark into the light. You do not need to crucify yourself for the good of humanity. What you need to do is you need to stay calm, meditate, grow your positive energy and your consciousness and connect to those who agree with you, who agree with your journey and do it together. And if there's enough of us, we can change the world for the better. And we are. The awakening is here. And the interviews I'm going to be putting on soon are going to show you the amazing people out there that are saving our world, our planet, the future for our children. As it's going to go on tonight, I've been asked to pass on a message that Monday, a lot of you do not let your children go back to school. Check out if there's been any chance that they've put up 5G masks at the school because that's for the good of your kids. Um, because you don't want your kids to get sick. And so I'm passing that on tonight because this goes out every single day to the human race. Every single day I put on a dark to light awakening. So check out if your school is safe. If they tell your children to wear masks in school, 
then that is actually dangerous for them because they can't breathe oxygen. You need to not have a mask in order to breathe and to stay well. And if they tell your children to go back in school and wear a mask, then I'm afraid they're not doing something for the good of your child. Your child is likely to get ill, taking you from the dark into the light, enlightening you guys. Do your research. A mask is dangerous. You cannot breathe properly. And it's definitely not going to be good for kids, um, especially if they're doing uh, PE and things like that. They can't breathe. You have to be able to breathe. And a mask shuts everything down. Okay, so I'm passing this on to you. Negotiate that with the school. And also do not let your child get vaccinated because the information I'm getting is that everyone who gets the vaccine is going to be really, really prone to huge amount of radiations coming from 5G. And it's going to be very, very detrimental. So you need to know that. Okay, let's pull a card. Laughter. Ha, 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 ho, ho, ho. Okay, laughter is a very, very good way to pick up the energy, to increase the vibrations. Today is a day for fun and humor. Laughter is the best medicine. Have a go. Yes, we need to laugh. We need to laugh at particularly people that are not doing the research, people that are stuck in watching the mainstream media and don't have any intention of waking up. I'm sorry, but you're a laughing stock now. And... Um, I feel sorry for you because there are huge things that you need to look into, particularly five, you need to do your research. And I can only bring you so far from the dark into the light. So you need to do your research. And if campaigners are going out there and telling you that the mainstream media is bought and it is not telling you the truth, then you need to go out there and do your research. If not, then it's laughable now that you cannot wake up when you see the, 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 the lack of common sense and stupidity that the mainstream media is putting out and the lies. If you cannot wake up from that and you believe in what they're saying and your favorite celebrities, then I'm really, really, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know why you're on this channel, but maybe you're on this channel to wake up a little bit. I will not lie to you and I do not mess with you. You need to do your research and check out what is coming up on this channel. You need to do your research of what's coming up on social media. Okay? Keep yourself well. You need to take your vitamins. You need to go on sound and light. Uh, use sound and light, vitamins, colloidal silvers, all the good things that are out there. Okay? And watch what we're putting out. Please sign up to Moving on TV. Moving on TV one at gmail.com. I love you lots and I hope this really helps. As I say, I'm, I'm sending a bit of a warning out if you're watching this, do not send your child back to school on Monday if they're telling them to wear masks, if there's a chance they could be vaccinated or if they've put 5G masks outside the school, get yourself a radiation machine and take it to the school and check everything because they have no right to make your kids sick. No right at all. They're going to use this in order to lock everybody down again. Okay? You can go back and watch what I'm saying now. Today is the 30th of May. If God forbid, it's not going to happen because we're waking up. But their intention is to put you back into lockdown just before the, um, the, just before the election so President Trump cannot get in. You need to do your research. And if he doesn't get in, well, he has to get in. We haven't got any choice. He's the only one who's doing anything to make everything, change everything for the better for humanity. Take care. Love you lots. Enjoy. And sh uh, like, share, and subscribe. Come on, Moving on TV. And welcome to The Awakening. And enjoy the beautiful piano version of Mark Smith in the background. Bye.